Greetings YouTube, this is Farmer Son Prepping here. Welcome. Uh, so I was watching Papa Prepper this morning, he was doing some sort of one week food challenge. So I thought, hey that's an excellent idea, what does one week of food look like to me? And I'm sure it would vary from person to person, so I thought that would be a good thing to do. And of course I'm going to do for me and my dogs. Uh, you know, I'm not going anywhere without my fur family. So, uh, this is what one week of food and water looks like for me and my dogs. Okay. So, I'm not counting the ammo can or none of this stuff over here. All that's out. I'm counting from, from right here over to the dog food right there, okay? So... You have to mix it up a little bit. Nobody's going to want to eat the same thing day after day after day. So, even with breakfast and all, I have to have some sort of variety. Sorry, y'all, my finger's in the way. So, what we have right here, first of all, i got to have something to drink. I've got some tea and some sugar. So, that'll do me for a week. Uh, you know, I live in the south. We have to have sweet tea down here. Okay, here's... Uh, Here's a day's food here. We got a breakfast and a beef stroganoff here. So that's one day of food. Okay, we got some oatmeal and some grits. Again, I live in the south. Okay. So this, this has kind of got breakfast. This, that, and that's kind of got breakfast covered. We do have some Pop-Tarts over here. I enjoy these as breakfast and or snacks. So they're in the snack section over here. Uh... So yeah, okay, now evening time meals, since we got the breakfast stuff took care of. The evening time meals, I've got some uh, shells and cheese right here. Chunky soup, okay. I can, uh, I can typically have some chunky soup with rice uh, together. That makes a pretty fine meal. This is uh, long grain rice. It's the only rice I had in a small container, y'all. Uh, cause uh, all of my other bags are like 20 pound bags and larger. So I didn't want to bring a 20 pound bag for a week. Uh, corned beef and hash. Sorry for my shoddy camera work here y'all. Some pinto beans. Some more chunky soup. Also, uh, okay, this is my drinking water. These are three and a half gallons. Let's see, this, that's... Three and a half, three and a half, seven, seven plus three and a half. That'd be ten and a half gallons of water. It's plenty of water for me for a week to drink. Okay, then over here we have uh, other water for washing dishes and for the dogs. The dogs have to have water too. So that would be their water and any other water I need. The dogs don't go through a, a whole lot of water because I don't make them stay outside in the heat. So, snackies. We got some, uh, you know, got to have a few clip bars. This is an open box. It's not full all the way, but uh, there are some in there. Some, some clip bars. We got a pack of raisins. Because I'm a snacky kind of person, especially if I'm bunkering in. Got to have some snacks. Again, pop tarts for snacks. Here's a week's worth of my meds week's worth of meds for me so that's something I have to have according to my doctor okay and then here's dog food I have two dogs so that's one that's one two three days four days five days six days seven days eight days nine days so that's nine days worth of food for the dogs I just didn't want to tear these containers open That'll take care of them for at least seven days. No problem there. But yeah, I thought this was an interesting challenge. Get that back over there. Uh, this is what one week looks like to me. Could I do with less? Absolutely. You have to do what you have to do in a survival situation, okay? But uh, this is what one week's worth of food looks like to me. And of course, uh, I, you know, I don't go, I, I did this y'all like I was planning to go somewhere for a week. If I was going to leave the house, 
and go somewhere and stay a week, this is how I would plan it, okay? So, there's a little bit of extra in here. There's more than seven breakfasts in here. But, uh, you know, this is the best I could do to get it to seven days or, or maybe seven to ten days. Uh, and, of course, I'm always going to have what's my EDC. I'll always have my EDC stuff with me. That's my concealed carry, my knife, my flashlight. All that will be on me. And, of course, I don't go anywhere without that. That's my pack. So that's my get home bag, my whatever bag. That's my bag. So I don't go anywhere without that. And there's first aid and, you know, there's whatever I need, you know, other than food is in that bag. Oh, by the way, there's also a day's, uh, two or three days worth of food in that bag too. So didn't think about that while I was doing this. But anyway, here's my week's worth of food, y'all. My one week food challenge. I don't know who came up with this idea, but I like it. It gives me an idea for a video. I'm not counting any of those little ice cream totes. None of that stuff counts. None of this stuff over here counts. I'm just counting the dog food and the water and all this stuff over here, okay? That's all. That's what I'm counting for my one week for me and the dogs. All right. Well, that's, I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, give the channel a thumbs up uh, and subscribe if you would. We would most appreciate that. I'm sitting on the floor <laughs> and we're doing this thing, uh, you know, with a cell phone in my hand. So, again, apologize for the crappy camera work. What does your one week challenge look like? I challenge you, whoever you are, if you're a content creator, get out there and do this challenge. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Farmer Sun Prepping, y'all. We're out.